There's a question that what is my situation now and how am I facing the difficulties and we want the reply so that it can give inspiration to us. Alhamdulillah, I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number one for all the blessings that Niyama he has given us. Mashallah, especially me, I wouldn't like to exchange my position with any other human being living today. You know, there are about 7.8 billion people living in the world. What Niyama Allah has given me, I would not like to exchange my position with any other person that I know of. Past, there are many good people present. Whether they are prime ministers, presidents, king, whatever it is, what Niyama Allah has given me is Alhamdulillah, Summa Alhamdulillah. And we are undergoing a test. You may have heard in the news that because of my dawah activities in India, in 2016, they banned the organization. I was traveling abroad. I did not go back. Because we know that they lay allegations against the Muslims and by the time we prove ourselves in the court of law, we may get justice after 20 years. So I didn't want to be a dead hero. You know, we follow the guidance given by my beloved Prophet Muhammad When the life is in danger, problem, what do you do? You do hijrat. So we did hijrat. And amongst the country, there are about maybe 15 countries that told me you come and live here. Amongst them, I thought that Malaysia was the best. Alhamdulillah. Therefore, I chose to be here. And I'm happy to be in Malaysia. My life in Malaysia is multiple times better than my life in India. There are several Niyama. I had a lot of fans in India. Even a lot of enemies. Here also, mashallah, I've got more fans. I've got few enemies here also, mashallah. You know, as Allah says in the Quran, that for every prophet have we kept an enemy. You know, so the Da'is are the followers of the prophet, you know, trying to spread the message. So if you're a true Da'i, you're bound to have enemies. This is part and parcel. It adds spice to our life. So we shifted from India, you know, by Allah's grace, we had one of the largest private Muslim Da'wah organization in the world in terms of budget, in terms of people. We had 500 people working full time for us. Now, only three, four. But I'm happy here with three, four employees. There we had 500 employees. MashaAllah. Largest DAO organization. More than 10,000 volunteers. Now, MashaAllah. Yet the work is continuing. They are trying a level best to stop activities. One of our major activities, Peace TV. We have Peace TV in English, which was launched 13 and a half years back, having a viewership of more than 100 million. MashaAllah. Largest watched religious channel in the world. More than even the Christian channel. We launched the second channel, Peace TV Urdu, in 2009, which is about 10 years back, having a viewership of 80 million. We launched Peace TV Bangla in 2011, about eight years back, having a viewership of 50 million. And 2015, December, about three and a half years back, we launched Peace TV Chinese and Mandarin. And now, mashallah, the live telecast is going to all the four channels, more than 200 million viewers, mashallah. So our work is continuing. The more we do dawah, the more they're trying to pressurize us. I gave you the example of UK. Before 2010, I could travel anywhere in the world. But when they found the popularity, they found the peace TV, they found people accepting Islam. Every day, alhamdulillah, hundreds of people, Allah is giving hidayah due to peace TV. Every day. We are sitting in Malaysia, but the channel is continuing. The enemies of Islam are trying their best to, to close it. Allah does not require peace TV to spread Islam. We are thankful to Allah that is utilizing us. Allah does require us. So we are striving in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Life here is much better. They have taken all the property, but property will not take you to Jannah. It's good, you know, property can go in loss in business. Someone can rob, an earthquake can come, your house can get destroyed. If the kafir, the enemies of Islam have taken a property of Adai, what better thing that I can thank Allah it's been used for? We want a house in Jannah, not house in the world. So when Abu Zarda could give all his wealth, so we get inspiration from the Sahaba, that if this can get us Jannah, it's a very good deal. It's a very good deal. And I gave you the reason why I chose Malaysia. We are continuing activity, Alhamdulillah. And we are doing with bigger. See, the thing is, Allah doesn't see the results. Allah sees your striving. Because the result that we got... Believe me, impossible. Bombay is one of the most difficult places in the world to do dawah. And when there we could have the largest conference in the world, 
a million people for five years, impossible. I cannot say I'm intelligent, I'm smart, no. Haza min fazli rabbi. So with whatever effort we did, the result we got is million times than what we deserve. <coughs> now we are striving, we have to strive harder. Result comes or not, Allah gives you for your striving, not for your results. Results are in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are continuing with our There are people who are for us, people who are against us, most of the Muslims for us. There are some secular Muslims, there are some Munafik Muslims who are against us. All this is part and parcel of life. If you don't have this spice, we have to keep on striving. We have to keep on struggling. And we have to continue whatever we can give to the community. Whatever we can do for the spread of Islam, we are continuing. If we become silent and stop, then what's the use? So Allah has given some ability to you. Not that I wasn't aware. I thought I would have been kicked out many years back. So Alhamdulillah, 25 years we did dawah in India. MashaAllah. 25 years. And Allah gave hidayah to so many people. Alhamdulillah. Your life in Malaysia, as I told you, is much better. More ibadah, more time to contemplate. With less workers, you have to do more jihad. Jihad means striving and struggling, not, not war. And we are doing that. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have other strategies of how to expand our activities, how to grow. Now there is social media, etc. And what we can contribute. We keep on meeting, you know, leaders of many countries in the world. Just a couple of months back, I met a prime minister of a country outside Malaysia. I gave, a, as I told you, a talk to the Interpol of one of the European countries. Alhamdulillah. When we meet, our job is to advise. With hikmah, without insulting, whenever I meet any heads of state, whether it be a chief minister, whether it be a prime minister, whether it be a president, and Allah has given the opportunity of us to meet several prime ministers and presidents of the world, mashallah. I'm nothing. When we meet, we give advice. Some of them change the full country. They, on the advice, they made me the religious advisor. They changed the full country. Next year, America destroys them. You may know, you may not know that country. And he's no longer there as the president. No problem. At least the seat in Jannah is secured. They call that, I'm the godfather of that president. See, we have to keep on striving. Main thing is, our, we should try and secure our seat in Jannah. And that's what I'm doing. We are striving, we are struggling. And we only ask Allah that lay not on us a burden greater than we can bear. Put me in a test, where I will pass. If the test is difficult, no problem. But see to it that I can pass in the test. And Allah promises in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 2, uh -huh, 286, in the last verse of the Quran, that Allah does not lay on any person a burden greater than he can bear. <clears throat> and the more difficult the test is, the more higher is the reward. And I really would like to thank this country, Malaysia, and thank the majority of the Malaysians, mashallah, that for striving, and I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, get the Malaysian more closer to the Quran, more closer to Sunnah, so that all of us, inshallah, can meet in Jannah, inshallah, in Jannah, the Firdaus. Hope that answers the question.